What is going on, everybody? Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So the markets were all over the place today. We were down in the morning. We ended up closing up green. So we got to break them down in this video. Talk about the overall market, stocks, charts, what I'm looking to do. But before we do, make sure to get your free money for Moomoo. You get up to five stocks, each of which could be valued up to 3500 bucks. Just use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. And all you have to do is deposit at least 100 bucks and boom you get your free money and with that being said let's dive into the video so check it out guys markets closed about 15 minutes ago and like i said we were down in the morning and then all of a sudden we saw a big recovery in the middle of the day which oftentimes happens you know if we get very oversold in the first half of the day we sometimes see a snapback in the markets and that's kind of what we ended up getting today take a look we had spy go up 0.3 percent on the day russell went up over one percent we had the nasdaq 100 up 1.5 or rather 0.15 percent and we had the dow up 0.4 percent the vix ended up going down five percent closing under 20 points which is Pretty good for the bulls, I would say, guys. And we had the metals down, silver down 1.5, and we had gold down about 1.3%. So check it out. Again, we saw a bit of a relief rally in the second half of the day where SPY went from 449 to about 453. It saw about a 1% move, which is great. And Triple Q, I'm assuming, did did an even bigger move. Let's take a look here. 358 to about uh, 362. Yup, it went a little bit higher. It went up closer to one percent where spy was up about 0.9 percent so nice recovery and if we take a look on this 20-day chart and see what's going on you guys know even though we recovered today we are still in the midst of a three-day sell-off we hit that 371 high on the 29th of march and then every day after that we hit a lower low and a lower high and based on where we closed we're technically speaking here at a lower high we didn't break out completely we're not reversing just because we had a nice run a one percent rally heading into close um we're just simply running back up towards the top of the downtrend to test it and we'll see what ends up happening and of course now that it's friday it's the weekend we're gonna have to wait till monday to see what ends up happening so if triple q let's say breaks out of i'm gonna say 365 that is where it could start reversing maybe that is where we start breaking out right but unless uh unless it does that you know or what am i trying to say here uh, if we're under 365, 360, and where we are now, technically we're still on a downtrend. So again, for this to reverse, we got to break the mid 360s at least. And when it comes to spy on the same time frame, the uh, 20 day chart here, we got to break above. I would say um, 455, right? 455 being the high from earlier today. And roughly that was the low from, yeah, actually not really. The low from yesterday was 451, 452. But overall, if we take out this 50 moving average on the 20-day chart and the 180, which is in the mid uh, 450s, that's where this could start reversing. So it's not reversing yet. Again, Triple Q and SPY are still in the downtrend, and uh, we'll see what ends up happening next week. All we saw at the end of the day um, was was just simply a relief rally. That's all that it was. So that's a quick little breakdown on SPY and Triple Q, kind of the uh, action we saw at the end of the day. And my closing thoughts here as we're uh, wrapping up the uh, the day and we had the first day of trading of April. So yeah, what do you guys think? Drop me a comment, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, guys. We're trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. So I challenge you guys. I'm sure a lot of you, and I haven't checked my analytics in a, in a couple of weeks, but usually a lot of you watch the videos, but you're not subscribed. So if that's one of you, subscribe to the channel, guys. Make sure to do that. And let's talk about some stocks now. We had a lot of stocks moving in a lot of different directions for example in my watch list here the most red stock today was amc it went down five and a half percent and the most green stock was snapchat snapchat went up about four percent and we did cover that one in my video from earlier so make sure you guys go check that out after this video of course if you haven't done so already so let's talk about dutch bros this is one that i have yet to try in real life i've mentioned that before obviously i've had starbucks we've talked about starbucks Starbucks. And I've, I've been hearing a lot about Dutch Bros. A lot of people are like, look, Stas, Dutch Bros, it's a big competitor. And I haven't tried it yet. Honestly, um, I don't think I've ever even seen one. I'm from the East Coast, New Jersey. 
Do they even have Dutch Bros here? They might. Uh, they might not. I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen one. So, yeah, I mean, if I do see one, I'm going to try it. But until then, I'm going to be watching the stock, which today the stock went up about 3%. Very nice day. And look at this. Overall, over the past couple of weeks, ever since the beginning of March, this thing's been reversing. You know, it was uh, stuck in a wedge for a good couple of weeks prior to March, and we were under the moving averages for a good couple of weeks as well. And ever since the beginning of March, like I said, this thing started to take off. We broke out of 50 bucks. We cracked above the moving averages. We got a golden cross about two weeks ago. And today we went up 3%, but uh, that's on the back of going down the past two days prior to today where we were at $65. We went down about 60, then down to 55. And that's where we are now. So this thing went up today, but overall it's down 15% over the past three days. So it looks like this is a little pullback within the overall breakout on Dutch Bros. It's above the moving averages still. We got that golden cross. I think if buyers step in around 55, 57, which we're seeing now, and uh, we end up cracking above 60 again, this will end up taking off. And it already took out. Take a look at this. Notice how the high from a couple of days ago was almost 66 bucks. It already almost took out the high, or it did take the high out from the beginning of February, which was the most recent high before that. And that was at 62 uh, 62 dollars and 80 cents so that's a good sign bulls broke through that resistance now we're cooling off let's get uh let's get ready for round two potentially or round three you know it's been running a lot and we've had a lot of pullbacks and a lot of bounce off so let's see how it goes that is dutch bros b-r-o-s amazon is another one i want to wrap maybe we could wrap these two together amazon and google look at this guys amazon's at a very big resistance right now if you take a look on the yearly chart look at that um, very big resistance <clears throat> if it wants to even load. Come on, Thicker Swim. There we go. You guys can see this is a lower high. Where we're getting rejected right now is a lower high on the year time frame. Look at that. We're getting hit at about 3375 3400 The recent uh, high before that was around 3700 and before that it was almost 3800 So we got to see buyers. If this wants to start breaking out again, Buyers have to get above or push this above 3,400, point blank period. 3,400's got to break. Then from there, I see smooth sailing up to 3,700. I mean, that might be a bit wide of a range, but that's what I'm thinking. You know, 3,400, there's no other resistance till about maybe 34, uh, 35, 75, 3,600. But other than that, it could go 3,700. So I like Amazon here if it could break out of 3,350, 3,400. And Google, look at this, guys, G-O-O-G, which I made an April Fool's video this morning, if you guys didn't catch it, where I said, uh, well, I guess I just blew it for everybody that didn't watch it. But um, go watch that video. Go watch that video. I will just leave it at that. But we, we said some funny things in that video, and uh, obviously, never mind. Go watch the video, guys. So look, Google overall is a little bit different from Amazon in the sense that it's already breaking out. It's actually above the moving averages on the four-hour time frame, and we have a golden cross. And all we're getting right now is a little bit of a pullback within the breakout. If you guys recall, Google tri uh, triple bottom, quadruple bottomed, whatever you want to call it, at about 2,500, and it started breaking out in the middle of March. It took out 2,700, ran all the way to about 2,900. Now we're just down to the low 28s. We had a 1% green day today. We closed above the moving averages. If you guys take a look here on the intraday chart, we got a bit of a, a nice recovery or a concern consolidation day above the uh, 2800 level which again is a huge support on the four hour chart so I'm liking Google here guys I think we do end up breaking back out granted if the markets collapse who knows if the markets collapse heading into that CPI reading in a couple of weeks here two weeks 10 days whatever it is um, obviously Google is going to fall at that point, but if we continue this rally that we saw and maybe the past three days in the markets was simply a pullback and we end up running up again, Google, come on guys, it's going to run up again as well. So keep your eyes on it. G-O-O-G again, watch Amazon. Another one that I'm looking at here is MRO, which is, uh, it's an energy company here, Marathon Oil Corporation. Let me show you all this. This went up 2.5% today. And the reason why I'm covering it in this video is because number one, look at this chart. This chart looks fantastic. You know, higher highs, higher lows. And just in the past roughly 
I'd say 10, 14 trading days, we've gotten ourselves in an ascending triangle. Look at this. We've been making higher lows since the middle of March. And ever since <clears throat> the 23rd of March, we've struggled breaking 26 to about 26.20. You guys can see here, we got hit there once, twice, three, four, five, six, and we closed right under it today. Make it the seventh time. So if this ascending triangle plays out, maybe MRO goes to, uh, let's see, where is the all-time high? I don't even know. Um, let me take a look here. All-time high looks to be right around 45 or 42. I don't think it's going to go that high, at least right now. But if it cracks above that 2650 level of resistance, guys, we're going to be going to levels that we haven't been at in years. I mean, we're already at levels that the stock hasn't been at since 2015. And if it cracks 2650, I'm saying, I'm seeing rather, the next main level of resistance being around 31, 32 bucks, which is where we topped off about seven years ago in April of 2015. So check out MRO, guys. I'm telling you, if that ascending triangle plays out, it might go banana. So I'm going to put my alert at 26.50. Let's do that together. Mark is at or above 26.50. So that's um, those are all the stocks that I have on my list right here. It's only four. I mean, hey, how, how long are we in here? Uh, about 11 minutes. We might as well go over some more on my watch list because I like making the videos about 15 minutes. So let's see what other stocks did well today. We had First Majestic Silver. This one up about 3.2%. Uh, this doesn't look as good as it did about a week, a week and a half ago, um, especially because it failed at 1450 many times, which I'm not loving right now. And what I'm noticing on this four hour time frame now that I'm looking at it, take a look. We have a head and shoulders forming. We got to be careful with First Majestic Silver here, guys, um, until it starts breaking, I would say above. $14 again. Right now it's sitting at about $13.50. So keep your eyes on that head and shoulders. If we crack the neckline, which is right around $14, that is where First Majestic Silver AG could really start turning around. Let's see here. Shopify. Shopify went up about 2.5% today. This is one that's on close watch. I actually added it uh, a couple weeks ago now. I'm actually up on the position. All you guys on my Patreon know I get all you get all my buy, sells, call outs, all that good stuff. And if you guys want to check the Patreon, Patreon out. Join it. Link down below or you can go to stasserfest.com slash Patreon. Today's the best day to join. It's the first of the month. Try it out. So yeah, this is one that I bought a couple of weeks ago. I think at 660. Now we're at 690 and it's trying to break out. It's it's right there. It's trying to break out, guys. This thing is up from 510 and now almost 700. It's up 35% and we're uh, and that's just in the past couple of weeks, guys. Two, three weeks. And now it's trying to break out of these moving averages and I think if we take out Let's say mid 700s. That is where the real reversal is going to occur. Uh, we got to about 730, but I'm thinking 750, 760. If we start cracking above those points, that is where we could uh, could really start breaking out. So keep your eyes on Shopify. We obviously have the Chinese stocks today. I talked about that in my previous video. That is some great news out of the Chinese stocks. I'm loving it. Go watch that video if you haven't watched it already. Let's see what else we got here. JWN, this one ended up going up 1.6%. Not too bad. It's right under 2750 28 bucks, which we got to break out of there for this thing to start moving up towards 30 So set your alerts 28 bucks for JWN. Let's see here. What else we got? Activision is still struggling. No, I don't want to say struggling, but I'm waiting for the day, guys. We close above the moving averages this week, so that could be a good sign that that day is coming. And by day, I mean I'm waiting for the day that this gets out of the consolidation range. We got to break 82 bucks, and that's where it's going to happen. If you guys take a look, this stock has not been above 82 bucks. that specific number, since... The beginning of January, middle of January. So we got to start cracking above 82 from there, 85, 90. I've been saying this on record for weeks. That's where I think this will be going, and that's just my opinion. Of course, don't buy anything or do anything based on my opinion because, again, it's my opinion, guys. So make sure to uh, do your own due diligence. And let's see some red ones here before we wrap this video up. We've had Intel. Jeez, guys, does anyone out there own Intel? Drop me a comment. This stock has been very, 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 very volatile. Um, and the funny thing is, Intel, you'd think, oh, Intel, yeah, it's not that volatile of a stock. I beg to freaking differ. Look at this chart ever since October. I mean, if you're in this stock, 
you're going to, well, I'm in the stock and I don't really feel this way, but if you're a new investor, let's say, and you you haven't really been through volatility, you are going to throw up owning Intel. <laughs> and maybe I'm a bit dramatic, but and, and there's obviously been worse stocks out there. But look at this, look at this stock. It went from 55 bucks to 47 dollars, all the way to 58, down to 43, all the way up to 52. Recently, we thought it was breaking out. We had the inverse head and shoulders, and then boom, we got the big tank. Uh, this thing tanked from 52 bucks. Now it's at 48. It's down about 10 percent just two three days. So. I mean, talk about volatility. Again, their stocks that are way worse, but this one's been crazy. Probably one of the more volatile ones that I've owned over the past couple of months. And I think I started buying it right around the earnings report, not this quarter, but the previous quarter. So I've owned it for two, three quarter, or about two quarters now. I've gotten two dividend payments from them, and uh, I'm, I'm continuing to sell covered calls on them as well. So kind of, uh, kind of, uh, that's it, I guess, right? It's uh, it's kind of uh, an early an early night here. It's getting for for some reason it's freaking um, getting dark right now at about 4:30. I don't know if there's a storm coming. There's probably a storm coming, guys. So I got to get ready for that. Uh, you know, maybe going to my bomb shelter. I made a joke about that in the first video of the day. If you guys don't know what I'm saying, go watch that first video. I thought it was a pretty good one. So um, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, drop me a comment, and make sure to subscribe. Again, we're trying to get 25,000 subscribers subscribers on this channel it's been a long time coming guys make sure to subscribe and don't forget to join my patreon if you want to try it out today's the best day to do it and don't forget to also on top of that yes there's more there's more guys get your free money for mumu up to five stocks each of which could be valued up to 3500 bucks just use that link down below deposit at least 100 bucks and boom you get your money and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching as always peace out